the next ones are turn 90 degrees to the right, which is rotating uh, 90 to the right. So if you're facing upward, you'll be facing to the right. If you're facing to the right, you'll be facing downward. If you're facing down, you'll be mo uh, facing the left now. Um, same with um, turn 90 degrees to the left, except the opposite. They also included turn 180 degrees, so um, that will make you turn uh, face the exact opposite way that you're facing already. And the one after that is turn 90 degrees to the le uh, right or the left, and that's random. So if I put this on, and I'll put it on a payload process, what will automatically happen. He'll be moving degrees to the left or the right. And I have the speed way up, so it looks like he's tweaking out. But <laughs> Because I have it on parallel process, this will automatically re repeat itself. So this is why you have to put in a waiting period between it. Well... Anyway, <laughs> um, let's see. The next thing is turn it random, and it just makes him turn, you know, um, any direction he feels like. So he can do a 90 degree uh, turn to either the right or the left, or it'll turn 180. It's all randomized. Um, there's one that's turned toward player, and I think that's really cool for. Um, when you're in a town, you want people to like watch you. You set everyone to, to uh, turn toward the player, and they'll all turn toward you while you're walking by. Looks really cool. But um, they also have turn away from players. So if you want people to ignore you, you know, um, they included in here switch on and off, which is the same as control switch in the event commands. It lets you control one of these switches. Um, so they have two, two separate buttons for turning a switch on and off. Um, the next thing on here is change speed. Uh, speed 3, which is labeled as slow, is the default. They have it all the way at 1, which is uh, labeled as slowest, and 6, which is labeled as fastest. Um, so what I do for my uh, running uh, common event is I have a, uh, what's it called? I have a conditional branch, and I have, if a button is being pressed, then set a, set the speed to 4, and if it's not being pressed, set it to 3, so it'll make you move faster when the button's being pressed, and that's how I have it uh, control the speed that you're moving. The next one is change frequency, and on an event, the frequency, um, it's in autonomous movement here on the side, and that's how often he'll move. If you have it all the, um, any lower than 6, then he'll take a, a break before moving again, but 6 is continuous movement. It doesn't control the speed at which he moves, but yeah and you can change that inset move route. Here in the third column, there's move animation on and off, and that does not control the player. It only controls events. So if I have it on this event, and I turn move animation off, um, that's also here on the side under options, and what that does is um, when you're walking forward, it shows you walking forward. With this on, um, actually I need to make a move to show this, but with this on, he will um, move forward without the animation of him moving forward. So it's like he's sliding along the ground. Um, let's see. The next one um, is stop animation on and off. And what that will do is it will make him walk in place. So if I have stop animation on, he'll just seem to walk in place. They have two different buttons here to switch it on and off. They also have direction fix on and off. 
um, which will make either you or the player, I mean, either the player or the event, um, it'll make him move without changing direction. So if he's moving to the left, but he's already facing downward, it will seem like he's just sliding to the left. They also put in through on and off, so you can uh, control those by set uh, set move route, and that will make it be able to move through solid objects, including other events and the player itself. It will also make it uh, be able to move through walls, so keep that in mind. They have always on top, uh, on and off buttons. Um, I usually have that for um, birds. I haven't found a need to use that in anything else, but anything that you want to move over um, other events, solid objects, the player itself, it will seem to be on top of it. And so that sets it as the highest priority. Like in the tile set, it'll set it at priority 5. Um, the next thing on here is change graphic, and I use this one a lot. Um, you, it lets you change the graphic of either yourself or the event. So I'll show you what this looks like. I'll put it on action button. So Bob, when I talk to him, it'll change it to that graphic. So when I talk to him, there you go. It changes him. The next one is change opacity. And in case you don't know, opacity uh, 255 is completely solid, and um, it's the transparency. So the lower transparency, or the lower opacity, I should say, the more transparent it is. So opacity 0 is completely see-through, and you can change that in here. Change blending. Um, I'll show you what this looks like. It's kind of hard to explain. Um, it's like if you see a picture that uh, someone has added alpha to or gamma to, you can see it makes it look... Mm, I don't know how to explain it, but you can see yourself here. That's what um, blending add, uh, yeah, blending add looks like. And if I put in blending sub... oops, I just deleted it. If I put in blending subtract... it will look like this. So, if you want to make a player look like that, then, yeah. It also makes them appear almost see-through. It, it's like it changes their hue and their opacity. So, if you want to make something look like a ghost, that's what you can do. Other than that, I really don't know what it would be used for. Um, but if you have a good imagination, you'll be able to find something. Experiment with these things. Um, they also added a play sound, of, uh, uh, yeah, play sound effect, which, uh, it says play S-E, stands for sound effect. And they added that in here. It's also in the event commands. So, um, let's say you want him to move downward and play the sound effect of movement. Click OK. So when I talk to him, that's what he'll do. And it'll play the sound effect with it. So you go like this, talk to him. Yeah. You get the general idea. And the last thing on here is script. Now, if you've added in a script that has, um, like, it's almost like a trigger. Here, when you click on script, it brings up this little window and you can type something in that will trigger a script event. Um, I don't use this a lot because I'm not good with scripts, but if you know how to use it, um, this is just another way to access it. So, there's my tutorial on set move route. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope to see you in the next one. Um, if you have any further questions or comments, leave a comment on this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my videos. I have many more coming. Even after I finish the event commands, I'll be making more. So, 
I hope you're looking forward to that, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye, guys.